Hello children, this is Oshani from Chinta.com. This is a weird problem. This problem is so beautiful. I mean, let me explain what it is. Okay, so it says that there are 3 to the power 80. It's a huge number, right? 3 to the power 80 particles at the origin. So here is the position. Origin is 0, 0, and there are 3 to the power 80 particles in it. And then a sort of scattering happens okay so i'll explain how that happens the problem explains it as well but i'll just show you visually what happens is you take 3 to the power 80 particles you divide it into three different parts so basically 3 to the power 80 if you divide it into three different parts you get 3 to the power 79 3 to the power 79 3 to the power 79 it's kind of cool if you take 3 to the power 79 add it three times you get 3 to the power 80. wow okay so what happens to these particles well one of them goes right up so at this position so now at this position there are 3 to the power 79 particles what is the location well this is 0 comma 1 another one third goes to the right so here again this is 1 comma 1 again there are 3 to the power 79 particles and then another portion goes to the left so maybe i use this color so this one is 3 to the power 79 here this is minus 1 comma 1 so they go up right and left that's all it's like a scattering okay so that's the step one that's the step one i just delete all these things okay so similarly what happens in step two well let me just delete everything so here we have three to the power 79 in each position one it becomes one third okay so again one third goes to the top right to the top here to the left here and to the right here so this one goes three ways similarly this one goes three ways and this one goes three ways okay so that's great so each of them is 3 to the power 78 again because if you split 3 to the power 79 into three parts you will get 3 to the power 78 so each of them is 3 to the power 78 3 to the power 78 2 times 3 to the power two arrows coming so two times two times 3 to the power 78 this one has three arrows coming to it so three times 3 to the power 78 awesome 3 times 3 to the power 78. Similarly, this one has two arrows coming to it. So 3 times, so 2 times 3 to the power 78. And finally here, just 3 to the power 78. That's all. That's the third level. Uh, sorry, step 2. That's a step 2. This is step 1. This is step 2. Okay. The question is, what happens in step 80 step 80 okay so in particular they're asking that how many particles are there at 79 comma 80 this position in the step 80 okay so this is the step 2 notice that this position is 2 comma 2 right this position was 1 comma 1 so in the step 80 so from 0 comma 0 to 1 comma 1 to 2 comma 2 you can see the pattern in step 80 the rightmost particle will be here this is 80 comma 80 that's the that's the position we want to know the number of particles here just to the left of it which is the position 79 comma 80 now you might think that this is actually hard but it's actually not that hard you can let's let me show it to you so this is 
1 times 3 to the power 79. Here you have 2 times 3 to the power 78. If you think about the third layer, you will immediately see what's going on. In the step 3, let me just put everything here. So in the step 3, what happens? 3 to the power 78, one third of that is 3 to the power 77. So here it goes. So we just move it. Here it goes. So 3 to the power 77. This is the position 3 comma 3. What happens just to the left of it? Well, let's look at that. So this position, what happens here? Well, one of the arrow comes from here, which is 3 to the power 77. One of the arrows come from here, right? One of the arrows come from here, which is again 2 times 3 to the power 77. Remember, at this position, we had 2 times 3 to the power 78. One third of it goes corner wise, right? 2 times 3 to the power 78. One third of it is 2 times 3 to the power 77. So it's just, this one is just 3 times 3 to the power 77. So you see what's going on. In the first step, in, in here, you have 1 times 3 to the power 79. Here, you have 2 times 3 to the power 78. Here, you have 3 times 3 to the power 77. So, the coefficient becomes 1 times 3 to the power 79. So, 1, 2, 3. Corner-wise, it increases by 1. And that's happening because every time, whatever the coefficient is here, one is added to it because this one is con contributing that one. So, 2 plus 1, 3 plus 1, 4 plus 1. Do you see what I'm saying? So, it's a matter of pattern recognition and it's also a matter of why it is happening. Okay. Uh, it's fantastic. I mean, it's very closely related to binomial theorem. Maybe in some other video, I can talk about that. So, you see the pattern, right? It's 1 times 3 to the power 79. 2 times 3 to the power 78 and then you have 3 times 3 to the power 77. So the coefficient is increasing 1 by 1 in each step and the power is decreasing by 1 in each step and you also see why that is happening. So in the 80th step, the coefficient will increase to 80 and the power will decrease to 0. So in the 80th step, so in step 80 in the position 79 comma 80 the there will be 3 to the power 0 times 80 particles so 80 particles in total it's quite beautiful that how this works out the the calculations for other positions could be more interesting for example could you find out the number of particles in 78 comma 80 this particular position can you write a computer algorithm to find the number of particles at the position m comma n where m is less than equal to 80 and n is less than equal to 80? Can you write a computer algorithm? If you are in a computer science Olympiad program at Chinta, then this might be a very interesting exercise problem. Even if you are not aware of computer science algorithms or how to write code, you can still figure this out using normal mathematics and maybe you can discover something really interesting. So put it in the comment section or you can check the link to go to the discussion in our forum in the Panini 8 Olympiad software. So check that out as well. I think we can have some real fun with this problem. Thank you for watching this video. Keep on doing good mathematics. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.